That sound means, don't you? The jingly music! Yes, which means it's time to open another window on our CBB's Advent calendar. I think this is actually my favourite time of day, Andy. Yes, I know. Right. Yesterday, Alex was behind the window. Today, it's window number 10. So head over to the CBB's website, where there'll be a different window to open every day with a fun surprise behind it. Yeah. Oh, talking of surprises, you know who's coming up next? No. The Tweenies! Yes! to visit my sister Lily. It's her birthday, and I'm taking her a present. It's a yellow teapot. Do you think she'll like it? A yellow teapot? Oh, that's not a very good present. I'd much rather have a, have a toy truck, or, or a new football, or a pet hamster. Huh, wouldn't you? Well, well, yes, I suppose so. But I think Judy's sister will love the teapot. Especially if she likes tea, cos all grown-ups like tea. Uh, oh, well, if you say so. I'd still rather have a hamster, though. Now, London is a really big place, full of people, cars and buildings. It's called a city, and it's one of the biggest cities in the whole world. Gosh, isn't it busy? Just look at all the traffic, and all the people, too. Oh, it can take a long time to get anywhere stuck in those traffic jams, which is why today I've decided to go on the underground. Now, the underground is lots of tunnels that run deep under the ground. Trains travel through the tunnels, taking you from place to place very quickly. It's the best way to get about London, and it's pretty good fun, too. Oh, the underground? That sounds really scary. It must be all dark and wet and muddy down there. Well, I don't think Judy would go down there if she was going to get wet and muddy, Jay. Yeah, well, it still sounds a bit scary, being deep down under the ground. It would be like being a mole. <laughs> yes, <laughs> burrowing down and then popping up somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Judy will meet any moles down there? Oh, she might do. Oh. Oh, and maybe some worms. Oh. They live underground too. Oh, yeah. I hope she meets some worms. <laughs> some wibbly, wobbly, <laughs> long, slimy worms. <laughs> <laughs> now, the first thing I need to do is buy a ticket. Oh, look. There's the machine. Right. All you have to do is press the button of the station you want and put the money in. The machine prints out the ticket and you get it at the bottom. Now I've got my ticket. But I'm not exactly sure which train I need to get. I'd better have a look at the map. Now, this is what I need. Hmm. There are trains to take you anywhere you want to go in London. These colourful lines show where all the different trains go to and the stations they stop at on the way. And sometimes you might have to change trains several times to get to where you want to go. <laughs> it can all be a bit confusing at first. Oh, look, Fizz. Uh, Judy's met some worms already. Oh, yes! All different colour ones. <laughs> <laughs> They're all wriggling about. Yeah, yeah. Just like 
got wiggly worms. Uh, yeah, wiggly worms. Oh, yeah, I love that one. Yeah. Wiggly worms. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden. And his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of the garden. I had a worm picture like that. No, Jake. Um, I think it's a map. It should help Judy to find her way around, but oh. I don't think it's working very well. Mm. Has a worm ever helped you find your way around? <laughs> I can't seem to work this out at all. I think I'll go and ask one of the people who work here. They'll know where I need to go. What? Um, Judy is talking to one of the station supervisors. They work at the station and um, checking people's tickets and telling them the right train to get on. I hope the station supervisor knows how to get to Judy's sisters. <laughs> oh, what a lovely station supervisor. Very helpful indeed. So the train I need to get to Lily's house is called the Jubilee Line. And it's through these barriers. Now, you have to put your ticket in here, then the barriers open up and you can go through. <laughs> now we get to go deep, deep down into the ground to get to the trains. Oh, look how high up we are. These moving stairs are called escalators. You just step on and the stairs take you down. Oh, but you have to remember to hold on tightly. Oh, this is great. The escalator does all the work for you. And it's taking us right down under the ground. <gasps> We're going very deep. Oh, it's quite strange being so far beneath the ground. Oh, Jake was right. I do feel a bit like a mole going through this tunnel. Except I can't see in the dark, so it's lucky they've got all these lights. Well, here we are. This is the platform. We have to wait here for the train to come. Trains come every few minutes, so you never have to wait long. And that information board up there tells you when the next one's coming. Oh, only a couple of minutes. Well, that gives me a chance to tell you some more about the underground. The underground is used by thousands of people. The tunnels go all the way underneath London. They go under Big Ben, under Buckingham Palace, well, they even go under a big river called the Thames. Oh, but you don't get wet, so you don't need your swimming costume. <laughs> oh, but you know, I always think a trip on the underground is quite exciting. Under the town, under the statues, the pigeons 
Under the pan, under the rocks, the trees and the grass. Under the ground, under the ground, under the ground. Trains and tunnels, whizzing around, around, around. Under the ground, under the ground, under the ground. Love you, don't you know? Cause they don't make a sound. Deep under the ground. Deep, deep, under the ground. Under the buildings and under the town Under the hospital, the buses and the trucks Under the factories, the pond and the ducks Under the ground, under the ground, under the ground Trains and tunnels, whizzing around, around, around Under the ground, under the ground, under the ground Love you, don't you know? Cause they don't make a sound Deep under the ground <laughs> Imagine that! Uh -huh. All those people walking about on top of you whilst you're underground. Yeah! Uh, what if they fell through and landed on your head? Oh, yeah. Oh, that wouldn't half hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, do you think all the people oh. fall over and the buildings wobble when the trains go underneath? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> like a wobbly jelly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this station has a cover over the train tracks. But at most stations, you must remember to stand well back when the train comes. But the trains travel very fast and cause great big gusts of wind. And they also make a lot of noise! <sighs> right. On I get. Mind the gap now. Look, I'm playing underground. Look, look, the train travels through the tunnel and comes out the other side. Oh, yes. Just like the one Judy's going to go on. Oh, it looks like fun. Can I have a go? Uh, uh, no. Oh, please, Milo. Uh, who's unwound the kitchen roll and left it all over the floor, eh? Oh, uh, 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 all right, then. Here you go, Fizz. Uh, see you later. No. Oh, 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 Fizz. Oh. Oh, that's better. Now, the way I like to pass the time when I'm travelling is to read a book. And I've got a really great one here. And it's called Mole's Winter Story. Thump, thump, thump. Bear banged on the window. Quick, Mole, emergency! On my way, replied Mole, and he scurried and hurried outside. The mice are snowed in, said Bear. It's up to you to rescue them. I'm too big for burrowing. Right, said Mole, and set off through the trees. Oh, look out, Mole, gasped the penguins. You nearly made us crash. Sorry, cried Mole. I've got a job to do. He shoveled and shuffled his way through the snow. Hey, Mole, I nearly lost my balance, yelled Kangaroo. Sorry, gasped Mole. Must rush! The mice are trapped and I've no map! He dithered, then slithered through a thick white cloud. Watch it, Mole! snapped Crocodile, struggling to control his skates. Sorry, mumbled Mole. Emergency rescue! No time to waste! He slipped and slid along Crocodile's back and fell headlong into the snow. Oh no! trumpeted Elephant. My snow elephant! You've demolished it, Mole! Sorry, Elephant, I didn't see it, said Mole. I'm on Operation Mouse Hunt. He hustled and bustled round a bush. <coughs> I can hear them, thought Mole. Don't panic, mice, he cried. Mole's coming to dig you out. Taking a deep breath, he scratched and scrabbled through the deep snow. Here I am. You can get out now, said Mole proudly. Hooray! You're here at last, cheered the mice. Yes, replied Mole. It was hard work finding you. Thanks for rescuing us, squeaked the mice. Mole hurried home. Next day, Mole's friends were waiting outside. Well done, they cheered. You saved the mice. Look! Your very own snow mole mobile, squeaked the mice, for faster rescues in future. Mole climbed in. Thank you. 
It's wonderful, he cried. Vroom, vroom. Oh, what a lovely story. I think the tweenies will love that one. Oh, hang on a minute. I shouldn't be here. Oh, I must have missed my stop. Oh, I'd better get off. Oh, I got so into that story, I forgot to keep a lookout for my stop. Oh, now I'm going to have to find a train to take me back. And quick, or Lily will be wondering where her present is. Oh, no! My bag! Oh, oh that was close. Oh. Wow! Judy nearly forgot her bag! Yeah, it nearly went on a ride of its own. <laughs> I wonder where it would have gone. Well, it might have gone to the moon. Oh, I don't think the train goes that far, Jane. Well, it might have done. Uh, what's Judy doing now? Phew, lucky I remembered my bag. I wouldn't want to leave that on the train. After all, it's got Lily's present in it. Now, to get my train, I need to go back a stop. Right. Hmm, I think it's this way. Oh, I don't know why Judy would be so upset to lose that teapot. It was just a plain old boring yellow teapot. Oh, don't be nasty, Milo. Oh. I bet it was a very nice teapot and Judy spent a lot of time picking it. Yeah, well, I think she should choose something better. Oh. Good. I'm on the right platform now and this train will take me back to the stop. So I shouldn't be too late. I finally made it. Lily's house is just around the corner. But I think I'll just pop into this little shop first. I think they might have something that'll come in handy. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think Lily would like this too? Oh, now that's what I call a present! I didn't like the teapot. But I love the T-shirt! <laughs> hey, Eddie! Hey, Sid! I'm really excited. Why? We could talk about a number. What, what number? Ten, you oh, know! Of course! Ten! Ten, a one and a zero! It's a numerical superhero! Ten! Ten! Ten, ten out of ten, that's the top score! Bigger than nine, but there's one more. Ten! Ten! ten. Ten Skittles in a bowling alley. Not ten down, that's a really high tally. Ten. ten. Yeah! Ten. Ten. You can say that again. Say what again? What you said. What, ten? Ten. Ten! Ten of these. I never know when. To call it a chicken. We'll call it a hen. Ten. <laughs> ten. Ten in the bed and the little one said... We got ten teddies. Ten. Oh. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, and then... You can count six, seven, eight, nine, and... Ten! 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 ten. ten. I've got a great idea for number 11. Sid, calm down. Ten's enough for now. Hello and welcome to this.